this is the figure I've chosen to paint for this video. It's just a simple warrior with sword and shield. I've already started by priming it in a bad and black and then doing a heavy dry brush of Mechanica standard grey and then a top down dry brush of Corax white. So next up is to decide what colours I'm actually going to paint it. I'll start by basing out all the colours beginning with the inside of the cloak as it's got some hard to reach places. For that I'm going to be using Caliban green and you'll end up with something that looks like that. Now I'm going to move on to the red which I will be using corn red for. And I will be doing that on the undergarments, so just in here and on the sleeves as well. I'm also going to do the backs of the like, little trouser bits just in there in red as well. And you'll end up with something that looks like that. You can see where I've done the Zenith All Prime that I haven't actually needed to do any highlights yet. That's particularly clear on the cloak. If you've thinned down your paints properly then it does it for you so that's a great way to do speed painting next i'm going to be painting the lower skirt type part and for that i'm going to be using scrag brown and you'll end up with something that looks a bit like that next up i'm going to do the rest of the leather for which i'll be using rhinoxide that's what it looks like when that's finished Next I'm going to do the belt and the bit holding the cloak on in scrag brown as well. That's how it's looking so far now that that's done. Next up I'll be doing the flesh. And for that I'll be using a base of Kislev flesh. Actually before I do the flesh I'm just going to do the pommel of the sword as it's quite hard to reach. And for that I'll be using Retributor armour. And now it's looking like this, coming together nicely. I've just noticed that I haven't painted the boots yet, so I'm going to do them using the Rhinox hide quickly before moving on. Now I'm going to paint the hair and the beard, and I'm going to use I'm going to use some Balor or Baylor Brown, however you pronounce that. The face on this one isn't the best, as you can see on this side. It's just about in focus, but it doesn't even have a proper eye. The mouth just carries on all the way through the cheek. And the bit that would be the moustache is just isn't there, so I've painted it on roughly where it should be. And you'll end up with something that looks like that. Now the helm on this warrior of Rohan is mostly leather, so I'll begin with a base of Rhinox hide. And that just leaves the metal parts of it, which I will have a look at a few reference photos. But I'll either do in lead belcher or retributor armor, depending whether they're just going to be steel or more like gold looking. In the photos I've just looked at, it's mostly gold in color, so I'll just go over that with retributor armor. Whilst I've got the retributor armor out, I'm just going to do that part there that goes into the shield. And you'll end up with something like looking like that. Next step is to do the steel part, so I'm going to be using lead belcher for those. It was only the sword that I had to do, as it turns out, these bits here, the leg armors that I thought were metal, are actually leather. So I'm just going to do a 50 50 mix of Rhinox hide and scrag brown, and then I'll do that over those. So that's all the base coating on the warrior done now. Next, I'm going to do his shield, which I've already primed so I'm just going to start by doing a base layer of Caliban green. Now that that's done front and back I'm just going to paint the inner ring of this in Retributor armor so that I can get it onto the model and then it'll make it easier to paint the rest of it. Now that that's done I'm just going to super glue it on. Actually before gluing it on I decided that the back could do with a little bit more dimension so I've added some Corax white to the Caliban green and I'm just going to very lightly dry brush across and that will just bring out the wood texture that is already printed into the sculpt. So now we have a really nice looking wood grain that we can actually see pretty well. Now I can super glue it on.
and now we've got a figure looking like this. So next up I'm going to paint the horses with Corex White and we are left with this. So now that's all of the colours based out which you could actually leave it like this and that's tabletop ready but we're going to add a little bit more detail just some highlights and some shadows I'm going to begin with the leather and the mix of Rhinox Hide and Scrag Brown that I used on this bit I'm going to do the highlights for on the leather parts that I've just done in the Scrag Brown and then the shadows that I've done or Rhinox Hide even sorry and then the shadows that I've done on the Scrag Brown just to bring the two leather colours closer together so there's not such a stark contrast. Now that I've done that, it looks like this, so that's added quite a bit more dimension to it and has blended the browns together a lot better. Now I'm just going to, with the mix of Caliban Green and Corex White, add a bit of highlighting to the shield and probably a little bit more to the cloak just at the same time, though that doesn't need too much. So that's all I'm doing for the shield, just very subtle highlight. Next up I'm going to go over all of the flesh with Reichland Flesh Shade. At the same time I'm going to go over the hair and all of the bits that I painted in Retributor Armour. I think at this point I'm also going to go over the red parts just to add a bit more depth to the shadows. So that's how it's looking. So that's how it's looking now that it's done. Now that I've gone over the the red and it's darkened it down I can use the corn red again just to put in a few highlight bits just on the folds so there it is that's just deepened the shadows and raised the highlights next up I'm going to add highlights to the sword with mithril silver and I'll also dry brush that onto the bits that I've done with retributor armor just to add highlights to them so it's quite subtle highlighting on the sword, but through your naked eyes rather than the camera you can actually see that the bit that would be actually being hit by the, the most light is actually the brightest. Right, now for dry brushing the retributor armor parts. Now that bit's finished, all that's left to do is paint in the eyes. For the eyes I'm going to be using Corax White and a tiny paintbrush. Now that the whites of the eyes are done, all that's left is to add the pupils. And with that done, the painting of the figure is complete. Now we just need to do the basing. That's a quick base put on there. So now just got to wait for that to dry and we can paint the room. And here's the finished result. Let me know what you think below in the comments. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.